In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to calculate the number of doses. The first question reads, how many one teaspoon doses are in a four ounce bottle of Prozac liquid solution that has a concentration of 20 milligrams per five milliliters? This concentration tells us that for every 20 milligrams of Prozac, there's five milliliters of solution. We're also provided with this information and depending on what the question is asking, what's being provided here may or may not be helpful to us. And just to give you an idea of how this is read, we have two teaspoons orally, PO is orally, and the QD represents every day. So we want to find out how many one teaspoon doses are in a four ounce bottle of Prozac. The first thing that we have to do is determine which information presented here is actually applicable to the question. And if you read through this a couple of times, you'll notice that this question is actually quite simple. All they're asking is how many doses make up the total amount being dispensed. So with that said, we're told that this bottle is four ounces. And we want to know how many teaspoons that is made up of. So we use the conversion ratio provided underneath. We can write down four ounces. And because there's not a direct conversion from ounces to teaspoons, we actually have to break this down into parts. So I can multiply four ounces by 30 milliliters per one ounce. I'm using this conversion ratio. And what this will do is cancel out the ounce unit, leaving us with milliliters. But of course we want teaspoons, and what relates milliliters to teaspoons is the second ratio. So I'll multiply what I have right here with five milliliters at the bottom and one teaspoon at the top. Look what happens. This milliliter unit and this milliliter unit cancel out, leaving us with the amount of teaspoons. Now we can use our calculator here, or you can do it on your own, four times 30 is equal to 120 teaspoons. And at the bottom, we have one times one times five, that's equal to five. There are no units at the bottom, we canceled them out. 120 divided by five is equal to 24. So for a bottle containing four ounces of fluid, that's equivalent to 24 teaspoons, 24 one teaspoon doses. Let's move on to question two. This time we're asked, how many doses are provided in the prescription below? We're prescribed ibuprofen, 400 milligrams, and we're also provided with this statement, and that reads, one to two tablets or capsules, whatever version of this drug you've been given, orally, every six hours as needed for pain. So PRN represents as needed, while pain represents what it is. And this information is required for us to find how many doses. So if you're given an option, one to two or one to three or whatever, you wanna pick the larger of the two numbers. So two. So you need two tablets for every one dose. Now to find the total number of doses, I'll create a proportion where I set this fraction equal to another fraction. And given that we're told there are 120 tablets in one prescription, we need to find the equivalent amount of doses. Technically, we have a ratio equaling to another ratio, and we can use cross multiplication to find the equivalent x. Or, of course, you can do this visually by inspection. Take, for example, 2 times 60 gives us 120. So you multiply 1 times 60, x should equal to 60. Now that's by visual inspection. Sometimes you might get decimal numbers, and in that case, you would cross multiply and solve for x algebraically. For example, one times 120 is 120, two times x is two x, and then dividing both sides by two gives you a minimum of 60 doses. And there you have it, two examples on how to calculate the number of doses.